Hey everybody, the horse racing kid signing on handicap races from Aqueduct Racetrack here in uh, Queens, New York, where I live. So, yeah, uh, it's here on Saturday. Uh, Breeders' Cup is a week away here. Please join back for my Breeders' Cup show. Breeders' Cup 2009 coming through. I'm trying to think who I would uh, pick. My dad usually bets these races for me. Me and him bet these. We usually go to the track or stay home. Usually, and then he'll use his uh, accounts online to do it. So, the feature races from Aqueduct, I'm going to do their boat stake races. Let's start with race number four from Aqueduct. Seven furlongs, the 34th running of the Bulls Ruler Handicap. We're going seven furlongs. My DRF. As you can see, there's a field of six going at this one, and I'm and I like a uh, number one sing baby sing, arming ten park shipper. Last time out uh, is three to one, sing baby sing. Chris Landeros is the jockey. Last time out did run in the Phoenix Stakes at Keeneland. Came in fourth that day, and then in the Remington Park Sprint Cup came in second. Came sixth in last year's Breeders' Cup. One on the Phoenix last year at, at uh, Keeneland at Zio won the Premier Stakes. So this horse does like it. First time in New York, did not. It said he had he went four wide in his last start, so he has the rail today. Should be a good start. So recap my bets for race number four. I like the one. Let's go on to race number nine. The fifteenth running of the turn back the alarm. Handicap, grade three, purse a hundred thousand dollars, with fillies and mares three olds and upward. One mile and one eighth, one around the oval at Aqueduct. There is a field of eight here, and I like the five and the one. Let's start off with the one. That's our girl. This time out, they won the violet handicap on the turf at at Meadowlands. Came in eighth that day. One uh, came second in a turf race and off the turf race in a mile and a quarter at Monmouth. Came in second with Carlos Marquez. Alan Garcia is up today, so he should be good. Won the red carpet at Penn National. Came seventh in the Miss Liberty. Never ran at Aqueduct, but likes to. Um, it's not supposed to rain here on Halloween, as you can see. So, yeah. So, and I like the five, number five, number four, actually, number, number five, way with words, not number four, number five, way with words, Eddie Castro, another horse coming out of the Violet Stakes, came in fourth that day, and then before that, won two races on the Monmouth sur surface, on the tur on the dirt, one a uh, mile sixteenth race and a six furlong race. One a mile seventy. Ran once on Aqueduct on a sloppy going back last year in the Meadow Star Overnight Stakes. Came in third, so yeah. Castro is actually having a good meet so far at the Meadowlands at uh at Aqueduct, so so yeah. So recap my bets. It's race number nine. I like the five and the one. So it's the horse racing kids signing off for number good luck. Boo! Happy Halloween to all those peoples, and uh, have a week away from Belmont, from Breeders' Cup. Please join me for my Breeders' Cup preview show and horse racing this week. Horse racing kids, signing off for number. Good luck.